And here's the kicker. That would be a 2,000 mile per hour fluctuation in overall orbital speed every 12 hours. That's how you know the Earth's not spinning and it's not orbiting the sun. Hey everybody, P-Brain here. Well, do you feel it? Do you feel the Earth moving? You know that the early part of January is when we go through perihelion, and in particular, we go past periapsis. That's where the Earth is closest to the sun. It's traveling at its fastest orbital speed, and it's negotiating its tightest turn, all while spinning. So do you feel it? Do you feel this ride we're on? No, of course not, because it's fictitious. We're not moving. Okay, so let's sit back, relax, and let's break this apart. I want to talk about the motion of the Earth today. Every year, there's a point where the Earth gets closest to the sun. And early January is when that happens. Now, they pin it down to like January 2nd, January 3rd, 4th, something like that. So this is the time of year. So this is where the Earth will reach its maximum orbital speed while simultaneously negotiating the tightest turn, which is periapsis. And that's defined as a pivotal point of directional change in an ellipse. Well, first let me just say that there's two components to the argument of whether or not the Earth is flat or whether or not the Earth's a ball, and it's whether or not there's any motion to the Earth. I want to talk about motion because motion helps corroborate either the ball or the flat Earth. And being that we feel no motion, no motion can be detected. As you all know, anybody who's honest, if we say, is there any motion? Do you feel motion to this earth? Of course not. We never have. But we should. I mean, we should in light of the fact that the earth feels the rotation, right? The earth is said to be bulging 14 miles high, gazillions and bazillions beyond measurable tons of earth, dirt, rock, water, bulging up at the equator 14 miles high, and the Earth is said to be flattening at the poles. The centrifugal force generated by the rotation is said to be doing this, and the, the bulge is tied to the rotational speed. So the orbit around the Sun also would generate a centrifugal force. But where's the Earth distorting features attributed to the orbit? I mean, it also generates a centrifugal force, so you have both centrifugal forces acting at once. So also, the equator, every 12 hours, would have a 2,000 mile per hour fluctuation, and those living on the equator. I mean, that should cause the ground to heave and hoe, especially as the Earth is whipping around, and the, the equator that's on the outside should be bulging out, and then as it goes to the inside, it would relax, and the ground would just be pulsing in and out. I mean, this is ridiculous, because when you're on the outside, you'd be rotating in the orbital direction and you'd have to add a thousand miles per hour. When you're on the inside, you're rotating against the orbital direction. You'd have to subtract a thousand miles per hour. That's a 2000 mile per hour fluctuation every 12 hours, every day of the year. You don't believe this is a concept? Well, let's look at how a hurricane operates. Okay, a hurricane, you could think of it as a spinning, orbiting Earth. And let's say this storm has a 100 mile per hour rotational speed. Well, it also has a linear speed or the speed that the storm is moving relative to the ground, right? It's forward progress. That speed, let's say, is 20 miles per hour. On the right-hand side of the storm, you'd have a 120 mile per hour wind because you have the 100 mile per hour rotation plus the 20 mile per hour speed that the storm is moving. You add those together. Okay, on the left side, the winds are rotating against the orbital direction, if you will. You subtract the 20 mile per hour forward speed of the storm from the 100 mile per hour rotational speed, and you get 80 miles per hour on the left-hand side of the storm, the much weaker part of the storm. Clearly, this would have an impact on the Earth and its inhabitants if, in fact, we were orbiting and rotating.